so class 10 as we have read for this chapter the proposal that it is a farce it is a comedy which is depicting the selfishness that is involved in tying the nuptial knots nuptial knot means that is wedding that during wedding that how people they seek matches okay they go so selfish that they are just measuring the you can say measuring the um, wealth of the partner in order to have a secure future a secure future okay and this is how natalia who whom she thought that she is the owner of oxen meadows and later on when she has come to know that lomo who is of course one of a decent man is well to from a well to do family he has come uh, with the proposal to get her married she was you can say she was immediately pressurizing his father in order to get him back to the house finally when lomo has come she was finally ready to admit that ox and meadows were his see the change okay so this we have read yesterday so the last dialogue i am reading for lomo here okay so that you can have the you can have relation with the previous lecture so the more so i have evidence my aunt's grandmother gave the lamb to your father's grandfather's peasants so now the move again said he is actually you can say talking about the principle that actually it is of course my option widows and my grandmother she has given it to your great grandfather's peasants they have used this land for 40 years they worked over it and in return they were making bricks for my grandmother and so on now natalia yes yes let that pass i wish i knew how to get him started are you going to start shooting soon no so now she is turning him off the topic now she has come to the point we that thing aside let us not talk about it okay tell me when you are going to start shooting lomo i am thinking of having a go at the black cock honored natalia stepnova after the harvest oh have you heard just think what a misfortune i have had my dog guess who you know has gone lame so now he said actually i am going after harvest for this shooting practice but he said actually it is of course a bad luck for me now what's the bad luck he said that my dog guess guess is the name of the dog that my dog guess he has gone lame oh what a pity why now out of you can say concern she said what a pity it is really pitiable for the dog but what happened to him i don't know must have got his leg twisted or bitten by some other dog and he sighs means takes a deep breath my very best dog to say nothing of the expense i gave mirana 125 rubles for him so now he said actually i think that his leg got twisted or some other dog has bitten him okay but he is saying my dog is one of the best one and i have purchased i have purchased it for 125 rubles from rana natalia it was too much van now she said you have paid a lot for this dog i think it was very cheap he is a first rate dog first rate dog what it means first rate dog means that he was of you can say good breed so he said no i don't think so it's cheap because it's first rate dog because the dogs are sold for the breeds okay that what kind of breed they have this is of course prevalent these days whatever the breed is according to that this, according to that the price of the dog is he said that it's a very you can say it's very cheap because it's a first rate dog natalia papa gave 85 rubles for his squeezer and squeezer it heats is heats better than guess now she said you know that our squeezer squeezer is another breed of the dog now she said that for squeezer papa has paid 85 rubles and you know the squeezer is of course better than guess the mom squeezer better than guess now again the second tussle is there between them now they are going to fight in the name of dogs it means that they are not at all mature that they are not not at all understanding that for what purpose they are going to you can say do this and ultimately what has happened to him what has happened to them is that you can say that they are ultimately suffering from this kind of problem so let us see just a moment now again they are going to fight in the name of dogs because ultimately 
they are trying to show each other superiority over the other they are just trying to tell that they are of course better than the other one now in the name of dogs they are going to fight now he said that i have given 125 rupees for my dog and she said oh, oh my god my papa has given only 85 rupees for squeezer and she said squeezer is of course a better breed than guess now, Lamo, Lamo is surprised to listen. Squeezer, better than guess? How is it? What an idea. And he laughed. He said, what are you saying? Squeezer, better than guess. And he laughed that this is not at all a possibility that squeezer is a better dog than that of guess. So, of course he is better. Of course, squeezer is young. He may develop a bit. But on points and pedigree, he is better than anything than even Polchansky has got. Now, she said, of course, Squeezer is young. When it will develop, it will turn into a good dog. And it is of a force finest breed. And you know that he's better than anything. Means, means, means this is even one of the best dog we have ever got. Lomo, excuse me, Natalia Stepnova. But you forget that he's overshot. And an overshot always means the dog is a bad hunter. Overshot, again, it is related to mean that it is a bad hunter, okay? Overshot is actually go past, okay? So he said that, don't you forget this thing that this squeezer is an overshot and it means that he will never be a good hunter. Natalia, overshot, she's not able to digest this, you can say remark. She said overshot, so two times they had a fight, okay? So on the first, so the first time they had a fight, it is just because of, and the ownership of oxen videos and the next time they were fighting over the you can say over their dogs that is guess and squeezer that which is the best one overshot he is he the first time i hear it she said what are you saying overshot it is for the very first time i'm listening from you lamo i assure you that his lower jaw is shorter than the upper now lamo is also now cleverly taking out you can say uh, points of you can say that his squeezer is not better. He said, have you ever noticed that his lower jaw is shorter than the upper? Natalia, have you measured? She, now she, see how funnily she is asking, have you ever measured it? Lamo, yes, he's all right at following, of course, but if you want to get hold of anything, he said, if he's following means if he's moving behind something, then it's fine. But if it has to get, catch hold of something, then I don't know that what, how it will behave. Natalia, in listen, in the first place, our squeezer is a thoroughbred animal. Thoroughbred animal means that is of superior breed. Son of harness and chisels, while there's no getting at the pedigree of your dog at all, he's old, ugly, as well as a worn out cab horse. So, son of harness and chisels, it means that he is very strong in running and very fast one. But he said, what about, and what about your dog? He's not of a good pedigree. And moreover, he's old, ugly, and it will only good for, you can say, as a cab horse. Means it can only, you can say, be used for carrying the loads. Lomo, he's old, but I wouldn't take five squeezers for him. He said, Lomo, sir, what are you saying that my dog is old? But if anybody will give me five squeezers, I would never get it. Why? How can you? Guess is a dog. As for squeezer, well, it's funny to argue. No, he said, guess is of course a dog. And whatever you uh, say for squeezer, I think that for squeezer, whatever you're saying is absolutely wrong. If somebody will give me five squeezers for my one dog guess, I will never get it. Anybody you like has a dog as good as squeezer. You may find them under every bush almost. Like he's what he's saying that like for squeezer, it's easy to get this kind of animal. You can find this animal anywhere. There is no need to hunt for it. 25 rubles would be a handsome price to pay for it. He said you paid 85 rubles. I think 25 rubles is enough for him. Again, this you, you can say provoke Natalia. So what she said, <coughs> so what she said, there's some demon of contradiction in you today. This demon means 
I think something is wrong in you today that you are contradicting my every point. Ivan Vasilvich, first you pretend that meadows are yours and now that guess is better than squeezer. I don't like people who don't say what they mean because you know perfectly well that squeezer is a hundred times better than your silly guess. And why do you want to say he, is, uh, he isn't? No, he said, I think that today you are in the mood of fighting. You're always contradicting my point. The thing is that, first of all, you were fighting with me that on the ownership of oxen meadows, and now you are saying that your guess is better than squeezer. So he said, not at all. It is only you who is saying squeezer is not a better dog, but I know that it is 100 times better than your stupid guess dog. And I don't know that why are you not admitting this thing? Lomo. I see, Natalia Stepnova, that you consider me either blind or a fool. You must realize that Squeezer is overshot. Now, he said, Natalia, I think that you are thinking that I am blind or fool, that I will not see your dog. It's not like that. He's an overshot. He's not of perfect quality. Natalia, it's not true. Lamo, yes, he is. Why are you not understanding? No, it's not true, Lamo. Why shout, ma'am? Why are you shouting, ma'am? Natalia, why talk not? It's awful. It's really very disgusting. It's time your guest was shot and you compare him with squeezer. So now you are, you are comparing your guest talk with my squeezer. It's really bad. Lamo, excuse me. I cannot continue this discussion. My heart is palpitating. He said no. Finally, now again, that you can say problem of anxiety and all. He is again saying no. I won't continue this kind of discussion now. My heart is again palpitating. That feeling that you can say my feet, my foot is getting numb and I'm having that same twitching. Now, Natalia, I have noticed that those hunters are you most who knew no least. Now she said, actually, I know these kind of people who know nothing, they fight for the most. Lomo, madam, please be silent. My heart is going to pieces. Shout, shut up. Now he said, please, please shut up. Please don't you speak. I'm not able to listen anything. Natalia, I shan't shut up until you acknowledge that squeezer is a hundred times better than you. She, she said, no, I won't shut up. I won't shut my mouth. But first of all, you admit that my squeezer is better than your guest. Fighting. At the top, you can say, Lomo, a hundred times worse. Squeeze, no, he said, no, a hundred times worse it is. Be hanged to your squeezer. His head, eye, shoulder. He said, you live with your squeezer. And with all the, you can say, with all his eyes, uh, you can say head and shoulder. And I don't at all care for it. Natalia, there's no need to hang on your silly guess. He's half dead already. He, she said, there is no reason of living with that kind of, you can say, bad dog as guess is. He's half dead already. Lomov, he starts weeping. Shut up, my heart's bursting. Means he's not able to control his that. You can say feeling in his heart. He said, please shut up. Please shut up. And he weeps and he was about to burst. Natalia, I shan't shut up. Then at that moment, what happened? Chubukov enters. Chubukov, what's the matter now? Chubukov is asking, what's the matter now? Natalia, Papa. Tell us truly, which is the better dog, Squeezer or his guest? She's in authoritative manner. She's asking, Papa, you tell now, which is the better dog, Squeezer or our guest? Lomo, Stepan Stepnovich, I implore you, I request you to tell me just one thing. Is your Squeezer overshot or not? Yes or no? Just tell us one thing, that it is whether what kind of dog it is. And suppose he is, he said, yes, he's overshot. He's not that kind of good breed. What does it matter? He's the best dog in the district for all that and so on. He said, but what, what happens? What is the fun in that? But the thing is that, that my dog is of course better in the entire district. Again, means that even the father was not sensible enough to understand this thing that whatever he is saying is absolutely right or not. Don't excite yourself, my precious ones. Sorry, Lomo, but isn't my guess better really now? Lomo said, but don't you feel that my dog guess is better? Chubukov, don't excite yourself, my precious one. Allow me 
your guest certainly has his good points he is pure bred pure bred means that is of pure breed firm on his feet has well sprung ribs and all that but my dear man if you want to know the truth the dog has two defects he is old and he is short in the muzzle muzzle means that protruding nose okay muzzle okay that protruding nose and mouth protruding nose and mouth that part that is called as muzzle he said there is no doubt that your dog also has good qualities like of pure breed can stand firmly on its legs but but there are two defects also means he is talking on both the sides very intelligent man so he said he is short and short in the muzzle and he is old these are the two defects his muzzle is not so developed it's a short one lomo excuse me my heart let's take the facts you will remember that on murinsky hunt means this is the name of the hunt or uh, means game for dogs my guest ran neck and neck with the count's dog count is a title you know english people they used to give title okay and count is like having the title of a reputable man in the city while your squeezer was left a whole verse behind so he said do you remember that during marinsky hint what what happened my dog kept a breast he was ex, uh, completely you can say moving at proper pace with that of count's dog and your this you can say squeezer it was leaving far behind he was nowhere in that race chubuko he got left behind because count's whipper in hit him with his whip whip is you can just stick he said our dog left behind because count's whipper means the person who is having the stick what he said that he has whipped him he has whipped him in this manner with his whip it is just because of this reason that our dog was left behind so ultimately what the thing is that what they were doing that they were fighting over the superiority of their dogs so now now the chapter is about to you can say finish but still the more Uh, it will you can say still take time to settle up their matter okay to settle up the problem they were having lomo i am thinking of having a go at the black cock honored natalia stepnova honored natalia stepnova after the harvest or have you heard just think what a misfortune i have sorry this is again repeated here in my book sorry yes lomo with good reason the dogs are running after a fox when squeezer goes and starts worrying a sheep lomo said now let me tell you during the hunt what the dogs have to do they were running actually a fox and what squeezer was doing he was worrying means he was running after a sheep means he doesn't have the sense way to go chupko it's not true my dear fellow it's not true i'm very liable to lose my temper and so because of that let's stop arguing you started because everybody is always jealous of everybody else dog yes we are all like that you too sir aren't blameless you know sooner begin with this that and the other and all that i remember everything you know chubukov is saying whatever explanation you are giving this will definitely evoke my anger i'm going to lose my temper but the thing is that everyone is trying to prove that their dog is better than the others and of course you are also giving these kind of examples that your dog is better than others so as soon as you will begin with this he said even i'm giving my arg arguments and ultimately i think that we should stop arguing lomo oh i remember too chubuko i remember too what do you remember now he is teasing him what do you remember no my heart my foot's gone to sleep i can't now again his mind is diverted to that palpitation my foot my foot is gone to sleep he said i can't natalia teasing my heart what sort of a hunter are you you ought to go and lie on the kitchen oven and catch black beetles not go after foxes my heart now she is teasing her again passing on insulting remark what are you saying that you are going to go uh, for hunting 
you don't have any you can say capability to go for hunting so in this manner what happened that they were fighting with each other over the you can say superiority of the dogs right so natalia is no less than a great fighter she is again and again pinpointing him in order to evoke his anger so in the next part we will see that how finally they were resolved to get married okay two times they had a fight okay in very this short meeting so in the next one we will see that how they will stop fighting with each other